1973 and all after his earlier victory tonight. Well, Igor told us a couple days ago, who knows what might happen if he fights Sperry. He gets his chance now. Let's go to Gary's Burton. This is the Battle Cade Extreme Fighting Middleweight World Championship. From St. Petersburg, Russia, Igor Zinoviev. And there is Igor Zinoviev. Mild mannered, down to earth guy left a couple days ago talking about the prospect of fighting Mario Sperry. Knew he'd be an underdog, was it? Who knows? Oh, he, this guy is tough as nails. I think he's overmatched. But not, no, who knows? Well, if he did find himself overmatched here, he earned the right by virtue of an earlier victory. Look at John Lewis in his corner. John Lewis looks like he could go another 20 minutes with a Gracie. He doesn't have a mark on him. Well, that was certainly the most unique. And the last two fights have been amazing in that regard. The draw over the 20 minutes showing us one thing. And then the guillotine applied by Conan. Well, let's hear about Mario Sperry now. And his opponent entering the ring now from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Mario Sperry. Well, Mario is 273-0 now, and he was the Cadillac of that first round. He's extremely smooth, John, and again, he looks like he's not phased at all by this tougher assignment now than his first fight. He's the best there is. He knows it. He's the Zen machine. He never shows any emotion at all. Well, now you're Igor. How do you try to get this guy out of his Zen Machine status? What do you do to try and upset him at least? You don't throw a sidekick. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. Just look at look at Mario's face. I mean, he is just completely composed. Mario's the baddest dude on the planet right now. And Igor has a job for him that no one relishes. Let's go to Scott Berlinger. On my right. From St. Petersburg, Russia, the 1995 Empire State Games Judo Absolute Division Champion. He was the captain of the Russian Judo team. With a kickboxing record of 15-0, he is 28 years old, standing 6 feet 1 inches tall, and weighing in tonight at 187 pounds, Igor Zinoviev. On my left, from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, esteemed member of the Carlson Gracie Jiu-Jitsu team, the 1995 Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion, undefeated with an unprecedented record of 273-0, and a reputation of winning in under two minutes, he is 27 years old, standing six feet two inches tall, Weighing in tonight at 199 pounds, he is Mario, the Zen Machine, Sperry. Well, fans, this should be a treat. Last bout of the evening. This is more than a treat. You're watching the two magicians out there. Mario Sperry justified that reputation. Anybody who saw him for the first time tonight, absolutely unflappable in that first victory and Igor Zinoviev a lot of heart a lot of technique and tough as nails and he'll need it all now that he's at the upper echelon of competition going against Sperry who has never lost but was extended past the two minute mark in his last fight that was an event by itself I notice Igor has a new injury his left knee and we go now the final fight Igor faked that kick that John Ferdy said, don't throw. Ooh, big right hand, let come in. 
This is a very similar pose to what we saw before. Mario Sperry, good balance. Igor and Very bad move. Very bad move. Well, Igor went for it. Over. He went for it, but, you know. And it cost him. Oh, desperately. Uh, he's almost got side control on him. Igor's been here before, I'm sure, but not against somebody like this. But why do you think he, he made that move right away? Did he figure he had to just do something drastic? He knew he was going behind him. And now, this is where you usually see Mario Sperry right around this time of the fight. This is a very bad nice position for Igor. And Mario Sperry doesn't let people out of these holes. You see the way he's crawling around yep. his back? It's very dangerous with Zenobia. Sperry with excellent control on top, balance, weight distribution, willing to ride it as long as necessary. Here comes the punches and so big peak. We saw the big leg come up before, just before he fixed the man down. Igor tried to, to, to move him out of position. Here come the punches, his hands are starting to free up. See the way he's just squaring into the back? Very bad position. He a huge knee, too. And the punches are starting. He's got side control now. And now the next position is mount. No and good. Igor no knows his leg. Oh, 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 Igor. Kept him off for a second. Igor yeah. tried to go behind him. It was a very technical move. Oh, very bad. Oh, Igor's up. He's up. That's an amazing move. Unbelievable move. Igor Zanobi. He raised eyebrows on Mario. The biggest escape tonight. And maybe he did it too because he went against the brain of common moves. And he surprised Mario Sperry. So oh, he, he shot Mario Sperry. He lets Mario Sperry know he's in a match now. This boy is not going to go down easy, by the way. He's got a huge pace. Well, if Mario Sperry can get the same position on Igor, who knows, as Igor said, maybe he'll have to gamble. No, he doesn't have guard. He's lost the leg now. And the Igor Zanobi. And there's Health Gracie. Telling him what to do. Relax, relax. Telling him how to move the leg here, get around. He's telling him to relax and sprawl. All the weight distribution. Notice he's in no hurry here. The right move can end a match. Watch Mario Sperry's left leg. It's going to try to advance. That's why Igor. Oh, it's advancing through the middle right there. He gets it up behind Igor's legs. I, I thought I saw a glimmer of emotion on Mario's face just then. He's trying to get it through the middle. Igor gets full guard. He dominated position. Igor, controlling from the bottom for a second. Mario comes after. And this is fun here. Oh, this is not only a technical fight, this is ultra strength fight. They're telling him to pass the guard, pass the guard, stand up and pass the guard. Nice kick in the face by Igor, and he gets caught again. Oh my god, the Russian is really, really an uh oh. Just as I spoke. Well, Sperry was able to go around, and now he's in a very strong position. Oh, huge position. Just like he was before. Oh, he's now here. This could be the beginning of the end right well, here. You have to be perfect against Mario Sperry, and this is his second chance to finish here. Uh, Mario's going to rest now and start to mount his attack. Eager's in a very bad position. Uh, you know, don't forget, no one's ever gotten out of this position with Mario Sperry. The legs are up past the top now as he just continues to get weight distribution, position, and will try to use Igor's strength against Igor. Now here come the punches. Igor with a lot of heart. Oh, a lot of heart and, and in the worst possible position. He's going to get exhausted down there. He actually tried to punch him from the bottom of the mound. Yeah. What option would Igor have? Oh, he just got hit with a very brutal left hand. He's bleeding above the eye, I think. Yes, he is. Oh, maybe it's below the eye. Mario is just so dominant. But Mario Sperry doesn't let people out. What would be the way out for Victor? They have to push the knees back and flip and bridge to get him over the top. But, you know, this guy's got a face. Of 273 wins. Is that all he has to do? He almost did it. He almost did his right. A lot of heart from Igor Zinovia, who came in here and has really lasted now past the five minute mark and now, gotten out of two would be end of the fight situation. 
I don't think anybody's ever gone 10 minutes with Mario Sperry in history. Well, Igor Zinoviev has known the exact moment when to try and fight back. He is in a tough spot here, but he always tries to punch as he's getting hit and try to move Sperry. But what happens is Sperry just works on you. It's tough as nails. And is virtually unflappable. You get a good look. He's got two cuts on his face. Trying to try and put pressure on his arms, but Igor is so strong. Stone for an bar. Whoa, he almost made that. Igor Zinoviev has done very well. Oh my god! He went right out of position! Unprecedented activity! No one's ever gotten out of the mount from Mario Sperry. Well, Igor Zinoviev sets history. Igor Houdini Zinoviev tonight. Oh my god. Tremendous amount of heart from Igor Zinoviev, and he's just holding the head. A long journey for Zinoviev. He's going to try to bridge him. He's going to try to bridge Mario off. Mario's peeling his hands because he senses the bridge. He's bridging him off. Oh, he got full now. He's got guard, he's got a finishing hold. If Mario doesn't get up, he's got a finishing hold. Igor Zinoviev. He reclaims guard. Igor, Igor is actually holding his neck pretty tight. He's trying to do what nobody's ever done against Mario Sperry, but in big trouble here. Can you see Mario's face? Yes. He's going to try to bridge again. Igor Zinoviev closing in on the halfway point of this match. You see the grimace. This is all pain, determination, technique, will, coming together, the crowd on it. Let's go with the hand, he loses the whole thing. He goes getting up again. He got half guard. We're halfway through regulation. The crowd has lurched forward to come in and get a better view. Oh, the ego gets guard again, but he almost got mount. Igor's got guard. Mario Spurry has not been impressed, but he has had to work. Mario's very hard. Out again. He got full mount again. He has had that many times. How many times will he go to the wall with mount before he finishes this fight? It's a very bad position, though. He's standing up. And now Spurry doing a lot more quickness with his punches. He knows that he has to take advantage of mount more to not dream his fights. He has to get a bad position now. Igor. He has better before when he had his head. Big right hand, he's turning his back. He can't do that to the Brazilian. Well, he's trying to turn the head not to get hit, but he might turn right into a finishing hold. Oh, absolutely. And well said. Dave, you don't need me anymore. <laughs> I've got it, right? Clearly. Well, you're the best, though. Into his 11th minute with the master, 
of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But he is behind him. Figo lets go of that head. Mario Sperry lives behind him. Igor Zinovia is going behind him. He's been better as a defensive fighter here. Uh, Andy, uh, is standing up. Do you realize what that means? The Egyptian world is going nuts. Big up cuts. Igor is has put a new definition on the word personal. And this match here, I am here with this. He has extended. Extreme fighting is the only place you'll ever see a match of this duration and of this just sophistication. Sophistication is a key word game, John, because we have seen intensity, power, and chess. Look at the position Mario's trying to achieve. Uh, went behind him again. But Shinobi's base is incredible. And so Mario goes to the punch in the uppercut. He's done. in the martial arts Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world, and it has happened. Igor Zinovia, the toughest man on earth. Look at him. That's why you have to fight these battles. They can't be done on paper. And I think what he did with his escaping and his sense of timing was incredible. Here is Igor, the man who said, who knows, a couple of days ago. Well, now we know that he beat Mario Sperry who is 273 and 0. Standing Watch up. this move. Mario makes the amazing jump. Igor feels what? him do it, comes around behind, and knees him right in the face. What a risk. What a risk to your neck. He turned inside against the body movement, and Igor knew when to turn it on. The new hero, the new middleweight, extreme fighting champion of the world, beating Mario Sperry. You know how much time? Did we get time? Here we go. 13 minutes of this match, and he was almost out of this several times. Maybe that's even bigger than the victory itself, is that he didn't just come in there and shot Mario Sperry, he escaped from certain loss several times, which says a lot for never giving up in a fight and always knowing the moves. Who's the toughest 199 pounder on earth? Here is Igor, that was the move of the night, right there. He sensed Mario Sperry's weight above him and went the other way. He did it before when he amazed us with the escape. What a sense of body misdirection by Igor Zinovia. What he went against the green all night. My God, this man has proved himself to be the strongest, most resilient, and the fiercest fighter in the 199-pound category, bar none. Well, John, a legend has been born. I couldn't have said it better. You know, you put on these competitions. Let's get the final information now. I'm Scott Parlinger. At 11.39 of the match, winner and new Battle Cane Extreme Fighting Middleweight World Champion by submission, Igor Zinoviev. Well, Igor Zinoviev has done what John Purdy said would be the Tyson. Let's Douglas. just look at it one more time. The big leap to get the neck. Igor backs out and throws the knee. He knew all the time that that was going to happen. Well, what do you think turned it on there as Mr. T is getting ready? He'll talk with Igor Zinovia shortly. He will at least give us the end of it here. So, Igor Zinovia, John Peretti. What a way to cap this evening that Igor Zinoviev has written a new chapter in extreme fighting, and what a night to do it. People tuning in for the first time, perhaps, seeing a legend replaced.
I'm flabbergasted. What can I say? I mean, we have seen the best match that I could summon up, and here it is. You know, the strangest ending. 273, you know, and Igor Houdini Zinoviev, which I think should be his nickname, is there. We throw it to Mr. T. John, this has been a pleasure tonight. We go to Mr. T. Hey, thanks, John. Thanks, Big Dave. I had fun working with you guys, and I'll see everybody at Extreme Fighting 2. Be there. Arr! All right, guys, what fight? You still there? Get away from me, man. I mean, get away. All right. All right, All right so uh, Mr. T going and doing his fraternizing. This has been a tremendous thrill. Hey, Von Tempo, thank you so much. John, it's been a thrill on my end as well. Nice match that you made, too. Well, we are so happy you joined us for Extreme Fighting. For everybody in the crew, for John Peretti, this is Dave Fontempo saying so long, everybody, and see you for Extreme Fighting 2. Bye-bye. Please don't leave any messages on your answering machine saying where you're going. If one person leaks this, we're fucked.
fight all the way to get this done. You know, I mean, we're with you. The worst case is that the, you know, the army shows up on the reserve and stops the whole thing. Um, the, the history of the army and the Indians has not been good for the army. Yeah. 